600 kilometers per hour. That's nearly 373 miles per hour faster than a Boeing 737 at takeoff. And no, it's not flying, it's gliding. China's maglev train could go from New York to Washington, D.C. in just 30 minutes. Meanwhile, in the U.S., most trains barely touch 80 miles per hour. Is China building the future of travel, while America's stuck in the past? Welcome to Tech Insight Daily, where I break down the world's biggest tech shifts in ways that matter to you. Today, I'm looking at a revolution on rails. China's maglev train, a floating beast that runs at 600 kmh, isn't just making headlines. It's forcing a global rethink on the future of transport. While China's network expands at lightning speed, America's passenger trains still crawl on technology over a century old. So, what's holding the US back? And can it catch up before the gap becomes permanent? Let's get to the science behind the speed magnetic levitation equals no friction. Maglev trains float above the track using magnetic forces. No wheels, no rail drag, just ultra-fast, frictionless movement. Speed that crushes everything else. At 373 miles per hour, China's maglev beats every train in the world and even rivals short-haul flights in total trip time. Quiet, smooth, and low maintenance. No screeching, no bouncing. It's so smooth you can balance a coin on the window ledge mid-ride. Greener and more efficient, it uses 20-30% less energy than traditional high-speed rail. No direct emissions. Perfect for a carbon-conscious future. Here's the reality. Check, China. Shanghai maglev, operational since 2004, reaches 267 miles per hour, 600 kilometers per H prototype, tested and ready. Future intercity maglev lines in planning, Beijing to Shanghai in just 2.5 hours over 800 miles, United States. Most intercity trains average under 80 miles per hour. The fastest Amtrak route, just 150 mph, and even that's rare. New high-speed rail projects face constant delays, lawsuits, and ballooning costs. While China is expanding futuristic maglev routes, America hasn't laid a single mile of maglev track yet. Let's dream big because China already is. New York to Chicago in 1.5 hours instead of a 4.5 hour flight plus airport hassle. Los Angeles to San Francisco just one hour. Boston to DC, 40 minutes. These aren't wild sci-fi ideas. The tech already exists. It's just not being used in America. Yet, other countries are dreaming too. Tokyo to Osaka, under one hour with Japan's superconducting maglev in development. Delhi to Mumbai, potentially 90 minutes if India ever jumps into maglev directly. Kolkata to Patna, maybe just an hour in the future. If China can do it, and Japan's close behind, why not the US? Maglev isn't just faster, it's smarter, cleaner, and future-proof. China is proving what's possible when infrastructure meets ambition. The US has the innovation, the engineering, and the talent. But does it have the will to build the future, or will it get overtaken on its own tracks? Should the U.S. invest directly in maglev tech instead of slow conventional upgrades? Can you imagine riding a 600 km per H train across America? Tell me in the comments. And don't forget, subscribe to Tech Insight Daily for more cutting-edge tech stories from around the globe. Hit that bell icon. This is the future, and it's already moving at 600 km per H. Welcome to Tech Insight Daily. Your support means the world to us. Help us grow by sharing and subscribing. No need for Patreon or buying us a coffee. Stay connected, tech enthusiasts, in this ever-evolving world of technology.